What's up guys? My name is Mabiza Pro and um, welcome to the Sukus Guitar Master Classes. Today we are going to focus on something very very important on the Sukus music that you should know. And what are those things? It is the seven most important code or the seven basics code. Now for example, in the key of C, remember C major. And the chords or degrees are the seven chords which accompany the key. It's like uh, the father has relatives and uh, siblings, as you know. It is the same way to the guitar. The C itself cannot make music. You remember in the Sukus music, C it's always the introduction. 8% of the guitarists, it's 5%. They started with the key of C major. It is the entrance to the Sukus, believe me. And uh, those seven keys or chords are like this. This is the order. For example, we have C, then this is D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, and G7 or G dominant 7. Those are seven chords or seven degrees which accompany the key, any key. But I want to explain those names like uh, uh, C major or C. I don't, I don't have to call it C major. I call it C because when the song is on the key of C, it means C is the first degree. You understand? So you don't have to call it C major, no, 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 C. But D minor, you have to call it D minor because it plays the role of the chord. Chord is degrees which accompany C. It's like they are under C. I'm sure I've made myself clear. So C, D minor. E minor, F, G, A minor, and G dominant 7. But for the sake of a learner to put that names on, or, or to memorize those names of the code, it is a great job for a beginner. So it's very hard for sure but the shortcut of those names you have to call it on degrees like first degree is the key itself first degree second degree is that D minor third degree is G minor sorry E minor Fourth degree is F. Fifth degree is G. Sixth degree is A minor. Then seventh degree is dominant seven, G dominant seven. Those are the shortcut. Because imagine we have seven codes on each key times 12. You see, each degree has names. So for a beginner, it is a bit hard to memorize it, especially if you are in the beginning. Reason why you should focus on degrees or code. I'm sure I've made myself sorry clear. For example, on the key of G. This is the first degree. When you say, I'm going to play this song on G, G or G major. 
This is the first degree, second degree, third degree, fourth degree, fifth degree, sixth degree, and seventh. You understand? Those are the most important chord we use in the Sukus music. And for example, in the key of D, this is the first degree because we are focusing on D, second degree, or third degree, fourth degree, or this. Remember, you have to know to reverse. Huh? Very important. Fifth degree, here or here. Sixth degree, and seventh degree. There are two ways you can reverse like this or you play like this. Understand? Very, very important. So, let me now slow down. This is just, it was just the introduction for the degrees and it works to all keys because the song can be in any of those 12 keys. You have to know how to follow. And the amazing thing, believe me, is most Sukus guitarists, they learn those things by here. You have just to practice and keep on practicing this. By the time you will understand that those sound has has come to okay, you kept that sound in your mind. Eighty-five percent of the Sukus guitarists, including me, <laughs> I started there without reading. It's not bad to read tabs on, but it is very hard to work on the sukus. It's very hard. Then you put the tab there, you are reading while playing sukus. It is the rare case in the sukus music world. My encouragement is just you have to focus to learn those by here. If you are you know read the guitar, it is fine. If you know how to to read tabs, it is very fine. But for the sake of the sukus music. It is a rare case to see people on the stage with tabs and uh, reading while playing. It is a rare case. So let me now slow down uh, those uh, seven chords. And remember I said, focus on the three position. And in the positions here we have the guitar is like divided, divided by two. We have the open chord. So, the real position has a bit changed because of the, the, this zero fret. The same position you, you use here on the guitar to the other part, but when it is the case of focusing this part, trust me, you have to shift a little bit your shape or position. Now, I'm going to slow down those chords for you to get it. Because uh, I was just giving the, the whole concept. But for now, let me break it down. So I start always with the key of C. So as you remember, C the first finger on the second string first fret the middle finger on fourth string second fret and uh, ring finger on uh, fifth string third fret if you followed me uh, from the previous lesson, I'm sure you know this. Now, 
The second degree, which is D minor, how can we place now fingers? The first finger goes on first string, first fret. The ring finger goes to second string, third fret. And uh, the middle finger goes to uh, third string, second fret. Then you play or you strum from string number four. That is uh, second degree or D minor. Yeah. So now on to a third degree which is the E minor. So you your ring finger on the fourth string second fret and uh, your middle finger on fifth string on the same fret second fret then number one is open string number one string number two is open string number three is open and string number six so you strum it from the sixth string This is third degree or E minor. Now uh, on to fourth degree, which is F. So you know already F. And the fifth degree is G major. That's one you know already. And uh, the sixth degrees. This is A minor. On the key of C, it is the sixth degree. How you can place no fingers? The first finger is on the second string first fret the the ring finger on the uh, third string uh, second fret and middle finger on uh, fourth string second fret and you strum it from string number five or fifth string you skip this string number six from you strum from string number five or fifth string this is uh, a minor which is the f the sixth degree when you are on the key of C major. Now you understand. So the last, the sec, the the seventh degree, when you, you are on the on the key of uh, C major is. This is dominant seven. So it is G dominant seven. How you can place now your fingers? The ring finger goes to sixth string, third fret. The middle finger goes to string number five, second fret. Then the first finger goes to string number one, first fret. Make sure. Uh, fourth string and third string and second string is opened so this is the sound then back to C 
the first degree. I'm sure now you understand. So, the key or code is degree when it is under a key. We call degrees when you mention one key or you choose one key to play the song. Like in the key of C. Now I make myself clear. So, now the reverse now you can uh, invert the key of C in this position. You see. And this position also has its code or its degrees. For example, quickly, first degree, second degree, third degree, or here, fourth degree, fifth degree, sixth degree, and seventh. Now we are going deeper, my friend. Just you prepare yourself for this. Like Sukus is a giant. Uh, <laughs> you know? So, this is the first degree. You know this position very well. The back chord of the C major. So, the second degree we found here is D minor. So, the third degree is E minor. So, then we jump here. This is, this is the fourth degree. It is F. Then we go back to G. G is the fifth degree. Then this one is A minor, the sixth degree. Then this one is G dominant seven, the seventh degree. So just prepare yourself for this. I know those, it's very critical, but I encourage you be strong and move forward. Like, like uh, this G dominant 7, my friend, is not easy. Like I said, when the, the, the finger is not well placed, just take from your right hand, then place, adjust the, thing, the finger like this. Before you, you strum to all, make sure you start from one. You understand? It is like a confirmation. You want to co confirm is the string is well placed. Then you strum from string, string number six. The same way to A minor from here. So you start from then strum. Now this is the second position of the C the same way if you play C from here you have just to use second degrees third degree fourth degree fifth degree sixth seven so I'm sure I'm going very well I'm I'm going in the, in the way that you get it if you don't get it just rewind a little bit or slow down the video you'll come to get it i'm very sure then the next position for c major because this is the reverse for this you can use the same degrees and make sure you use inversion because the whole the whole concept of uh, sukus guitar it's about inversions please note that and quickly to the third position of C, this one. So we are going to the second degrees here. You see, sorry, 
the, the acoustic guitar is very hard, man. I promise next time I'll, I'll bring my electric guitar, don't worry. This is the second degree. The third degree you go back to. Uh, sorry, this is F minor. And the third degree is here, where it is um, E minor. And the fourth degree is F. You reverse to this shape. This is G major. This is the fifth degree. Sixth degree is this one. And seven degrees. This is the G dominant seven. So six degrees is A minor. Seven degrees. Then back to C or C. 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 I'm sure you understand this. So encourage yourself to learn this. If you know it, believe me, any circus music you are able to play it. And from now, you start to listen to the circus music. From this, you will get to understand what uh, they are playing. And uh, remember, it's about to develop your ear. Develop your ear because mostly we learn it by ear. That is fine. So another concept that I told you earlier in the previous lesson, you have to make sure you focus on three positions. This position. If they say that play the seven degrees on this position, this is G. But forget about G. Focus on the position. This is this position. The second degree is this one. It is a minor chord because in the seven, all seven degrees, the first is a major, the key. Second degree is a minor. Third degree is a minor. Fourth degree is a major. Fifth degree is a major. Sixth Sixth degree is a minor chord, and the seventh degree is a dominant seven. Those are general basics in all the world. If you go anywhere in the world, they will teach you the basics like this. And the Sukus guitarists, they took just those basics, then they developed it to their own concept. So, focusing on positions, like this position I said, this is one or first degree, this is two or second degrees, this is three or third degrees, this is four or fourth degrees, this is five or fifth degrees, this is six. Or sixth, sixth degrees, this is seven or seventh degrees. And fun enough, you know, uh, when we are on stage, because I've never shown you my other colors, one day I'll show you what I do and about music. That is another <laughs> chapter in court. So, this is degrees you should focus on. Another position is this shape. Now I'm talking about, I said, when you are playing from open strings here, the, you are, the shape has, has changed a little bit. But focusing on other part of the guitar, like from here. This is just an example, I'm just speaking randomly. 
this is the key, for example. Um, I said uh, we are focusing on the position. The second degree is this one. The third degree is this one. Fourth is this one. Fifth or fifth is this one. Sixth. Sixth. Seven. Understand? Or I can say it from keys. This is E. You remember this? I reverse the E from here to here. So the second degree here is F sharp minor. The third degree here is G sharp minor. The fourth degree is A major. The fifth degree here is B major. Sixth degree here is C sharp minor. And the dominant seven here is B dominant seven. Instead, you just focus on degrees. And the last position I'm going to show you is the bar chord, this position. I'm just picking it randomly because this is B major. So the second degree is this one. The third degree is this one. The fourth. The fifth. The sixth. And the seventh. Then back to one. So funny enough, on stage we are like two. <laughs> so very, very fun. This is the ambience or movement of African music. This is another concept of learning music in Africa. <laughs> so make sure that you follow me on this channel and subscribe and share. This is the only channel which will break down the Sukus music. So take care of yourself. Bye.